In the previous videos, we learned that f of x equals a times x minus h in parentheses plus k is in the vertex form of a quadratic function. And that f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c is the standard form of a quadratic function. Today we are going to learn one more form which is also very important. The form is called the factored form. And is f of x equals a times x minus p in parentheses times x minus q in parentheses. Let's say we have the quadratic function f of x equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 10. How can we convert this into the factored form? The first step is to factor out the 2 because x squared has to stand alone by itself and not x squared with something in front of it. We call that we did the same when converting the standard form into the vertex form. So now we can write 2 times x squared minus 6x plus 5. We already have the a which is 2 and we have another factor which is x squared minus 6x plus 5. In the last step we are going to make two factors out of x squared minus 6x plus 5 which are going to look like x minus something times x minus something else. But how can we find these two numbers? We are looking for two numbers which multiplied by each other equal 5. And the same two numbers which are added together equal 6. Feel free to pause the video and find these two numbers. The two numbers are 1 and 5. 1 times 5 equals 5 and 1 plus 5 equals 6. After plugging in these two numbers into these spots, we converted the standard form f of x equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 10 into the factored form f of x equals 2 times x minus 1 in parentheses times x minus 5 in parentheses. Let's do one more example for the sake of practice. f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 9x plus 12. The first step is to factor out negative 3. So we get negative 3 times x squared minus 3x minus 4. Again, we are looking for two numbers which multiplied by each other equal negative 4 and the same two numbers which are added together equal 3. Feel free to pause the video and find these two numbers. The two numbers are negative 1 and 4. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 and negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So we get negative 3 times x minus minus 1 times x minus 4. So we get negative 3 times x plus 1 in parentheses times x minus 4 and we are done with this problem. If you like my videos, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.